Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video. So till now we have covered uh, around five videos from module two, okay, of this subject VLSI design and testing. So I hope uh, you guys are regularly watching those videos, okay. It is continued. It is given continuously in the playlist. So those who are new to this video and new to this channel, my humble request is to please go and watch those previous videos if you want to know more about this subject, okay. So according to the video syllabus, module one is completed till now. All the I have covered around eight videos for module one, and uh, five videos are already up updated from module two as well. Okay, so this is the sixth video where we are going to co continue with the, some of the painting concepts from module two. Okay, that is noise margin. Okay, so till now concepts that are that we have discussed that is related to the inverter transfer characteristics, PMOS and NMOS inverter IV characteristic plots. Everything we have compared and discussed, and uh, we have discussed different regions with respect to the uh, CMO, uh, CMOS IV characteristic plot, inverter characteristic plot, and uh, in each region we have seen which is in the linear and cutoff region mode. Everything we have discussed before that we have discussed NMOS and PMOS uh, enhancement type of transistors, body effect, beta ratio. Everything we have covered till now from this module. So this is one more concept that is pending. That is noise margin. Okay. The noise margin with respect to the change in the input and output characteristic plot. Okay, there are some noise margins which you need to be known. Okay, which we when we uh, convert from a P type to N type transistor. Okay, what is the input and output characteristic variations which are going to be seen with respect to the noise margin that of that we are going to discuss in this video. Okay, so let us start with the concept of noise margin. Noise margin is a key parameter. That relates to how much unwanted electrical noise a logic gate can tolerate at its input without affecting its output. Okay. So, what does this first sentence say? It is a key parameter that relates to how much unwanted noise is uh, the uh, unwanted noise, noise it could be getting tolerated with respect to the input and output. Okay. Okay. That is the basic uh, functioning of this noise margin. It helps to determine the maximum noise voltage that appear on the input line while still maintaining the correct logic levels at the output. Okay. So, definition and types of noise margin, let us discuss now. There are basically two types of uh, noise margin. One is low noise margin, which is given by NML. Okay. Uh, this, what is this low noise margin? Let us see. NML is the difference between the highest voltage that a gate will consider as a low input. And the highest voltage that can appear as a low output for previous gate. Okay, it is basically defined by this formula here. NML is equal to VIL max minus VOL max. Okay, so this is the formula for noise margin low. Okay, uh, according to the definition, it is the difference between the highest voltage that a gate can consider with respect to the lowest voltage in the output side. Okay, that's why it is given by VIL minus VOL. Okay, where I stands for input voltage and O stands for output voltage with respect to the logical change. Okay, so this is low low noise margin. One more is high noise margin, that which is given as NMH. NMH is the difference between the lowest voltage that a gate will consider as a high input and the lowest voltage that can be appeared as high output from the previous gate. Okay, again it is defined by NMH is equal to VOH minimum minus VIH minimum. Okay. In case of a low noise margin, we consider the maximum value, but in case of high ma noise margin, we consider the minimum value. Okay. So these are the two types of noise margins low noise and high noise margins. So now let us uh, discuss with uh, this plot here, uh, not plot, this graph here, uh, not graph, sorry, it's uh, layout here, the diagram where we are having one uh, intermediate region. Okay, so this is not indeterminate, this is intermediate. Okay, intermediate region, and uh, we are having uh, some of the ranges here where we are having one range called as logical high output range. So that is this region here, and this is logical low output range. Okay, with respect to the output, and this is the input. Okay, in input here, we have again two regions that is logical high input range. Okay, which is mentioned here, and this is logical low input range. Between these two high input range and low input ranges, we have one intermediate region where we are having the VIH minimum and VIL maximum. And here we have a VDD source. Here we have VOH minimum. This is the noise margin high. Okay. Noise margin high is uh, uh, the difference between the 
VOH minus VIH, you see here VOH and minus VIH would be giving you noise margin in between. And here NML is men uh, mentioned here. That is the difference between VIL minus VOH. Okay, that is VIL minus VOH. Okay, so here we have noise margin. This is noise margin high and this is noise margin low. Okay, uh, this is VSS or ground. So these are the some of the uh, things which are mentioned in this diagram. Okay, about noise margin. Next is again, what are these VIH, VIL and all? VIH minimum is the minimum high input voltage. VIL maximum is the maximum low input voltage. VOH minimum is the minimum high output voltage. And VOL maximum is the maximum low output voltage. Okay. So these parameters are visually represented in the figure. Okay. Which I have already discussed. Okay. Next is ideal situation for noise margin. Ideally, for a uh, uh, noise margin, we have one condition that is VIH is equal to VIL. So, if you want to, to one ideal condition for noise margin, this condition should be satisfied. That is the VIH. What is VIH? Minimum high output voltage should be equal to maximum low input. When these two parameters are equal, the ideal characteristic of noise, mar noise margin would be getting uh, satisfied. And this value should be midway between low and high voltage levels. Okay, midway means it should be in between the uh, change in the drastic voltage level that is between VOL and VOH. So this condition ensures some of the parameters that is the logic threshold is centered in the voltage swing that is the drastic change in voltage is uh, uh, when, the, when the change in voltage or drastic change is uh, observed the logic threshold is centered that is it uh, acts as a main parameter. The inverter's transfer curve is sharp and transitions quickly high gain in the transition region for better noise reduction. Okay, so these are some of the factors which you need to be knowing. Next is transfer characteristic and region for this uh, noise margin here. So this is basically the plot now which I am showing. Okay, that was the figure. Transfer characteristics and regions. To analyze noise margins more, more precisely, the inverter's transfer characteristic as shown in this figure are used. The figure helps to identify the voltage levels that is VOL, VOH, VIL and VIH. For determining VIL, the inverter operates in region B. Okay, you see here which is the region B here. So here which is mentioned in the dotted lines, right? This is basically the region B. Okay, so this in this region it gets operated to it for determining the value of VIL. Okay, with this as the uh, NMOS threshold voltage. Okay, so this is the unity gain point here, uh, where uh, the drastic change is observed. Here, uh, where it is observed, there you should be drawing one tangent. That slope would be equal to minus one, and this is the unity gain factor here. Okay. In this region, the PMOS is in the linear region, and NMOS is in the saturation region, which I've already discussed. That is region B. Okay. When analyzing these values, it is common to assume that beta n equal to beta p. That is beta n by beta p equal to 1. Because I have already told that here we have unity gain factor. So if it is unity gain factor, then it is obvious that beta n should be equal to beta p. That is equal drive strength so for NMOS and PMOS. The actual expressions can be found in appendix A here. Okay. Next is effect of threshold voltage in noise mark. Okay. If both threshold voltages that is uh, Vt, n and Vt, p are increased, both noise margin high and noise margin low would be getting increased. Okay. This is one effective threshold voltage. This means uh, better noise immunity. Okay. So when we have better noise immunity, so these are some of the parameters or the formulas which you need to be knowing for noise margin high and noise margin low, which is mentioned here. For this, again, we have the separate derivation. Okay. When you derive that using the Drain current characteristic equations for uh, linear saturation and uh, linear and saturation regions. We have that equation, right? If you use that, and if you consider the parameters of noise margin with the input and output range conditions, we would be getting these equations. Okay, so that derivation part I have uh, not solved yet. So whenever if I get that, if I get time, I would be deriving that, and, and I would be getting with these equations. Okay, so uh, for time being, I have uh, provided these equations for you guys for noise margin high. With the better noise immunity, we have noise margin high equal to 3 times VDD plus 5 times 
uh, modulus of VTP, since uh, voltage value is uh, always positive, VTP voltage, that's why it is mentioned in modulus, minus 3 VTN divided by 8 for noise margin high. And for noise margin low, it is 3 VDD minus 3 VTP plus 5 VTN divided by 8. In case VTN is equal to VTP, is equal to 0.2 VDD, then we have noise margin high would be equal to noise margin low. Okay, that is VTN and VTP values are same. So that's why if you uh, do the substitution, what you would be getting, this is this has the answer we would be getting. That is if these two are equal, 3 plus 1 plus uh, 3 plus 1 minus 0 0.6 into VDD divided by 8. That if you sub simplify, you would be getting our answer equal to 0 0.425 VDD with in case these two noise margin high is equal to noise margin low. Okay. Next is trade offs. Reducing either noise margin high or noise margin low, especially when it drops below a certain fraction of the VDD, can make the gate more sensitive to noise. Okay, more sensitive means uh, the noise won't be getting captured very easily. Okay, so if you reduce the uh, NMH and M uh, NML, the gate becomes more sensitive to noise. But in practical circuits, the designers may trade off noise margin to gain higher speed. So this trade off will be demonstrated in examples in the later chapters. Okay, for in uh, actually in fourth module, it is uh, in brief it is mentioned so that uh, when it when we come to module four, we are going to see that. Okay, so this was in brief how it affects the threshold voltage beta ratio with the uh, different different regions transfer characteristics and the noise margin voltages uh, high noise margin and low noise margin and the definition and the layer of this noise margin everything we have discussed in this video okay uh, please watch this video till the end guys don't skip any part of the video again i've told you in the previous video itself i'm going one concept at a time because i don't want to confuse by providing two three concepts in the video so because these concepts are very important so that's why i'm going one video one concept okay the previous video i've just discussed with beta ratio so here i've discussed with the noise margin in brief okay so, if you want some more detailed explanation, you could be observing the textbooks. Uh, it is mentioned in the syllabus which textbook you need to be observing. That you could be going in your college library and accessing it. Also, this notes also we will be providing it in the this video's description because uh, these uh, notes are referred from the textbook only. This uh, this is the standard notes. If you thoroughly understand these notes and study from this, easily you would be scoring above eighty plus, uh, seventy to eighty plus in the final exam. Okay. So yeah, this notes is provided in the description. Please access it. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you for staying till here. Those have uh, what those who had watched this full video, and please comment down your opinions about how you understood this video. Was it this video useful to you all? Everything you should be mentioning in the comments. Okay. So that's all, guys. Like this video if you haven't liked it, and uh, thank you for your support, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.